what is going on guys welcome back to another exciting episode today we have a kind of different video for you guys where I am back in the shop and I kind of went around the shop and I noticed that we had quite a few of these really cool JDM swim baits that a lot of guys still haven't caught on and picked up so today I'm gonna kind of run through some of the ones that I found in the shop I'm gonna break down why I think they're as cool as they are and maybe you guys will want to check them out by the end of the video so if you guys are ready let's get right into today's video all right, so here working at the shop, Ben, the owner, he likes to bring in a lot of nonsense and a lot of garbage. As you can look around here, this company here, it's not a very good company, but he also likes to bring in a lot of niche kind of brands and products that really are only offered in Japan, which is kind of cool. So every once in a while, he'll actually bring in something really cool and unique into the shop that's really only in Japan. So a lot of these baits are strictly just found in Japan and fished by Japanese guys. And a lot of the American guys haven't caught on to these baits. So I kind of wanted to highlight a few of them. If some of you guys are fishing these baits and you're catching them and you kind of wanted to keep it hush, sorry for blowing your little bite. But I think these baits are too cool not to talk about. So the first one we're gonna talk about is from a company called Imakatsu. Imakatsu is known really for their realistic paint jobs and just their unique baits. And so. The first one we're going to look at is the Imakatsu. This is the Replicator DSF, and this is just called the Dead Slow Floating, which is basically it's a slow floating swim bait, and it's a really awesome segmented swim bait. There's a lot of different features that come with the bait, and first off, you're going to notice the paint job is so cool. I mean, this is the bass version, and it just looks so cool. It's got that flash. It's a little bit translucent as well. like such a dope color now the replicator is a dope one and they have two different versions they have a lip version and a lipless version i like the lip version just because you can actually get this bait to walk side to side really really easily and it looks great in the water you can also just crank it on the bottom and it's got a great swimming motion and so I really like this version of the bait. And to spec it out for you guys, it is 220 millimeters, 2.4 ounces, and it's a slow floating bait. So it's probably around nine inches or so. It doesn't weigh a whole lot, so you can fish it on some of like your smaller swim bait setups. Anything that's rated like a medium heavy to a heavy swim bait rod will be able to throw it. And there's a lot of cool features on this bait. So. Let's kind of start up here on the front. It will come with the snap and underneath that snap, if you guys can see that there, underneath the snap, there's a little line tie right there and you can put weight there. So if you wanted this thing to sink down and be like a slow sink or a fast sink and fish it deeper, you can totally do that. And then if you look on the sides, I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but there's like these little slots on either side of the bait. So basically what you can do with those slots is in the packaging, it also comes with these feathered single hooks. And basically what you can do is you can attach the hooks to either the line tie or this nose down here. And the hooks will actually attach inside here with these little built-in keepers. And so what you can do with that is if you did wanna fish this thing down deeper on the bottom, Basically, you would just take off these hooks here, put those two front hooks here, and boom, you have a bait that you can kind of drag and crank down on the bottom. So really innovative from Imakatsu on that side of things. You just have your normal, regular hook hangers down here on the bottom. And then back here, you see that there's two other like little line tie things. So basically what you can do with here is, is you can add a like stinger if you're gonna fish like you know it on the bottom so again if you take off those bottom hooks you can add like a small little stinger back here you can use like a little frog hook so there's a lot of different ways you can fish this bait and i think that's just really really rad on imakatsu's part now it comes with two tails you have this flat tail where it's flat and then you also have a v tail style tail so you can have two different actions on what you're looking for. So overall, I mean, for this one bait, you can do so many different things and it, you can rig it a thousand different ways and it just is such an awesome swim bait. So they come in great colors like that. You also have trout pattern ones, like that's a dope one. 
They also come in trout pattern ones as well. For a $100 swim bait, it comes with a lot of different ways to rig it. Awesome paint job, awesome swim. You really can't beat the Imakatsu Replicator DSF. Okay, staying in Imakatsu, we're gonna take another look at one of their awesome little swim baits, and this is the Gilroy Jr. It's an awesome, realistic looking swim bait. Bluegill profile. Okay, so this is the bait. Awesome, realistic looking bluegill profile swim bait. It's considered a glide bait, but you guys will see here in a second that you can actually do a couple different things with this because Imakatsu, again, kind of makes these innovative ways to fish their baits. So it's a this small 120 millimeter little bluegill bait. It weighs 1.8 ounces. So again, it's another light little swim bait. Now, in the packaging, it comes with two tails. It comes with this Huddleston type tail, just a big boot tail style. And then it also comes with your standard flat tail as well. So basically with the flat tail, it's gonna be very S motion. It's gonna be very tight because there's not a whole lot of joint movement, but you can get a decent little glide. If you work it slow, you can actually get it to kind of glide out in and out just a little bit with the Huddleston tail, you can basically fish this on top of the surface and it's going to have like a nice little, nice little body roll with that tail kicking and you can also get it underneath the water and it's going to have that same kind of swimming motion. It looks pretty good overall and again, you got to love the size of it, it's a snack size bait and then you have that realistic paint job as well. Again, Imakatsu gives you kind of like two baits in one with the two different styles of tails to fish. And again, you can also add a, like a little chin weight here if you wanted to nose down or sink down a little bit faster and fish it more near the bottom, but awesome, awesome little swim bait from Imakatsu. That is the Gilroy Jr. Okay, moving on to a, another company called Kasumi Designs. Kasumi Designs is definitely one of those underrated companies. They make a lot of cool, innovative products. And one of the ones that I kind of took notice of was the all you clone 180 it is a soft kind of plastic so there's a harness inside I can feel that there is like some type of resin or ABS that's inside but it's covered by this soft material so it's kind of like what depths did with the 250 where you had the foam body but you had the rubber skin this takes it to a next level so in hand it feels like a soft bait and they basically cut it in half, right? So you have your main joint. Then you have a little segmented tail back here as well. And basically it's a glide bait. You can fish it just with the straight swim and it's gonna look natural, but you can also get it to glide side to side, side to side. And it's a awesome little bait. So the reason why I like it is because of the soft nature of it. So I feel like if a fish comes up and hits it and it doesn't get hooked, it's not going to feel something hard and just unnatural. It's going to feel something soft, mushy, where it's going to feel like a real fish. So if it doesn't get hooked the first time, it should, it should give you a better chance of that fish coming back and hitting it. Now the All You Clone 180, it's 180 millimeters around seven and a quarter inches long. It's 56 grams, so basically two ounces and it's a awesome little bait. You have the little tracer on top here. So if you're making a bomb cast and you want to see exactly what the bait's doing, you have that to you. It does again come with this little chin tie down here. So if you wanted to add weight to sink this thing further down, you could totally do it. A lot of these Japanese companies, they like to add weight to their baits. They like to have options on what level they are fishing the baits so they will always kind of add that little chin line tie so if you wanted to add a weight you can definitely sink it out overall it's a cool awesome little swim bait and i think it's definitely one of those more underrated ones realistic paint job so this is just like the au color dope dope color and then they also make other realistic looking colors so this would be like a great carp kind of pattern so yeah that is the Kasumi Designs All You Clone 180. All right, staying with Kasumi Designs, we're taking a look at the Boracon 150. It's another one of their soft plastic swim bait kind of hybrids because there is again an internal harness in here, but the body is soft. So 
It's a segmented swim bait. It's a floating swim bait. But what's cool is it's got this soft plastic, little soft lip. And basically what that's gonna do for this bait is this thing is very, very subtle. You can fish it pretty fast, but you're only gonna get a little bit of head movement and a little bit of tail movement in the back. So it's gonna be fast and it's gonna be subtle, but it's definitely something different. This thing, you can burn it, you can crank it down. It's gonna get down to like maybe a foot, two foot max depth. But again, it comes with a little line tie on the chin. So if you wanted to weigh it down and send it down, you could totally do that as well and get the same action. So this middle segment, as you can see, it is soft plastic as well. So if you're worried about hooking a fish and it tearing off that part or even back here, basically what they did is they have like this little swivel split ring system. So if you hook a fish back here, this harness and this body is still connected to the head where you're gonna tie the bait off to. So it's a cool little swim bait. Again, awesome realistic looking colors on this thing. Such a cool little swim bait. So that is the Boracon 150. It weighs just under two ounces and it's 150 millimeters. So that's probably like uh, five and a half inches or so. So nice little swim bait, something that's different that the fish definitely have not seen before. I will also add, they come in a bunch of different colors. Here's a cool like little trout color. This is actually one, this one's pretty dope. So. Oricon 150 by Kasumi Designs, check them out. Okay, the next one we're gonna look at is more of like a wake bait, but apparently they haven't made these in a while and they kind of just came back, but I thought the swim of these things were actually really, really good. And that is the Evergreen International. This is the Royal Flash Junior. So basically it is just a multi-segmented swim bait, wake bait that's got this circuit board type lip up here in the front and Basically what you can do with this is quite a few different things. I know a lot of guys will just fish it stock, but what's cool is you can actually add like a little screw back here in the back and you can add like a blade or you can add just like some type of prop and it's gonna give you a completely different action and noise. But just stock, I really like the way that it swims. You can twitch it, you can just straight retrieve it. It's gonna be a high floating bait. It's not gonna dive any deeper than like six inches. So. It's an awesome, awesome little wake bait. So if you guys are looking to throw wake baits, I know the summertime is a great time to fish wake baits. So this is definitely one to add to the arsenal. They make quite a few different colors in it as well. So they have like your shad patterns. They also have these cool gill patterns. So a bunch of different ways to fish it, a bunch of different colors, a bunch of different options. So if you guys wanted to get a new little small wake bait, the Royal Flash Junior is definitely the way to go. The bait weighs about an ounce and a quarter, ounce and a half. It is a 130 millimeter, so probably like four inches, four and a half inches, I believe. So awesome little wake bait, swim bait from Evergreen International. Okay, jumping over to a company that I've known about for quite a while, but a lot of guys over here still haven't jumped on, is a company called Fat Lab. They make, they make these crank down wake bait style swim baits out of Japan. And today we're gonna be looking at the new Nekosogi Gill. This is the long lip version. So basically it's a gill shaped profile swim bait. And it's basically just a crank down. You can get this thing down anywhere from two to like five feet is what they're advertising the two ounce little bait and it's got a really hard thumping kick to it you're gonna feel the water displacement water movement under the water and it's basically just a big crankbait crank down style swim bait so they make quite a few different colors they make you know these more unnatural kind of chartreuse colors they also make these weird realistic kind of colors i mean this is like a red snapper color but Definitely a dope little swim bait, and I think Fat Lab is making some really cool baits that a lot of guys still aren't jumping on, and this is definitely one of them right here. And another great one that most of the guys that I know that do fish Fat Labs fish, their Nekosogi Triple X swim bait, and basically it's another one of like those crank down swim baits. It's very similar to how I fish my 
DRT tiny clashes in the Yotamaki form where it's a very just subtle side to side motion and you got this little V-tail in the back that kind of gives off a little quiver but it's basically just one of those crank downs where you kind of just tick it on the bottom as it goes along and they make some really cool colors in this one as well like this is a super realistic IU it's a little bit translucent as well and basically what you can do with these things is just cast it out shallow water at night is when a lot of guys will catch fish on this and this is basically where you cast out kind of what I was doing with the dead slow is you kind of parallel with the bank you crank it down until you hit the bottom and then you start reeling and you kind of just tick off the bottom off the rocks stumps trees or anything like that and the fish just absolutely smoke it so the Japanese definitely like that style of swim bait where it's very subtle kind of wobble kind of roll where it kind of just goes back and forth not a whole lot of movement but they absolutely crush the bait so this is the Nekasogi triple x version they come in some really cool colors like this au color they even have this dope ass small mouth color too that was super sick and the bait is 195 millimeters so around eight inches or so and then it weighs just under two ounces so a lot of these baits are pretty light so you don't have to have these super heavy swim bait rods to fish them and they're just a super fun bait to fish. Now they also make a Nekasogi DSR version which just basically has a much longer lip so basically you can fish this much deeper so if you wanted to fish in that you know five six seven foot range you can definitely get this down there and crank on the bottom and you're gonna get the same exact action just in deeper water so if you're fishing deeper rocks or trying to touch grass and kind of tick the grass this is definitely the go-to one and again awesome colors two ounce class range so super easy to fish and throw and so those are the fat lab nekasogi swim baits all right guys that's gonna be it if you guys have fished some of these baits let me know how they work for you guys down in the comments below i will leave links to the baits if you guys wanted to check them out other than that, thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, go out there and chase your dreams.